me rest. Perhaps we should get some rest before leaving? But... We don't really have a choice. Alright, then I'm gonna walk around town and search for clues about the treasure. Hey, hold it, you should really... Hey, she's gone already. Anyway, once we've gotten some rest, let's go look for that cavern in Hippionia. Wow, Rita, you look different than you usually do. You look cute. Are you saying I normally don't look cute? N no that's not what I meant. Well, it's not like I care anyway. Hey, Yuri, you think she looks cute, right? Don't you? Huh? Yeah. I like those cat ears, I guess. Just the ears? Oh, come on, Yuri. Why are you being so shy? Your face is turning red. The ears are the problem. What's that supposed to mean? So, Patty, did you find any clues about the Maristella? Hmm, there were a lot of books, but none of them were about Eifried. Well, duh. This city only has books about Blastia. Oh, well. Looks like I'm just gonna have to keep searching for clues with you guys. Did you just say Eifried? Huh? Hey, you. You that girl they've been saying is Eifried's grandchild? Hmm. So, you neither admit nor deny it. And I guess it must be true. Interesting. So you're the grandchild of that bastard who disgraced the guilds. <laughs> you just look like a regular brat to me. Hmm. Why don't you say something? Can't even defend your own grandfather? Oh yeah, I guess that's something no one could ever defend, huh? Considering all the nasty stuff he did. How can you say such horrible things? How? Well, because it's the truth. Hey, wait! You guys must be Sirens Fang's newest guild members, right? W we're Brave Vesperia! Brave Vesperia? What a funny name. What kind of a guild is that? Well, it's, uh... You see... Why, you gonna give us some good jobs if we tell you? I don't have any jobs to give shady thugs involved with Eifried like you guys. Brave Vesperia, huh? It's good-for-nothing trash like you who've been tarnishing what it means to be a guild. You're the good-for-nothing trash who's been tarnishing the name of the city. Y you You're Rita Mortio? Looks like there's a lot more vulgar pieces of trash than the last time I was here. Jeez, it'll be a real nuisance if anyone thinks I'm associated with you. Let's get out of here. Wait! Oh? Was there something else you wanted to say? N no mm. But what are we gonna do? I'm pretty sure that guy's gonna spread rumors. I don't care. If that's the kind of thing that could destroy our guild, we would have been finished a long time ago. Yeah, we should just let people say what they're going to say. I... Wasn't our destination ashore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom? Ah, yeah. Then let's get going. Mm. Now that you kids have gotten an insight into the real Raven, I think it's your turn. Our turn to what? To tell about your love lives, what else? You're so stupid. I'd kind of like to hear what everyone has to say. Oh? Then you have to start, Estelle. What's your ideal man like? My ideal man is someone like the Amber Knight in the Tale of the Jade Planet. Who? In the Tale of the Jade Planet, he's a good friend of the main character and- Sure, sure. Who's next? I prefer a girl who's nice, a little quiet, maybe kind of gentle, not too tall. That girl you liked, was she like that? I seem to remember her being a bit more on the strong-willed side. Rita and Judith, what about you? Someone who's not like the old man. That sounds about right. Yeah, I'll go with that too. You kids just don't understand the beauty of the middle-aged man. Someday, someday...
do battle with all our might. but I do wonder why we always have the same thing to eat. We have other recipes we could be making. Carol only stocks up on the same ingredients. Rita said she liked it so much she could eat it every day. Hey, the old man was whining about how he hates every other kind of food. Well, Yuri was going on and on about how we have to save money on food. Judy, didn't you say this would be a good way to compare our cooking? I thought Estelle was trying to perfect this dish. I want something else. Me too! Me three. I'm tired of this. Same. Our other recipes are going to waste. Alright, let's eat something different next time, okay? You were all unhappy with the meal. This is it, right? It matches the description Tort gave us, but... A shore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom, right? Maybe Tort tricked you guys. Either that or we came to the wrong place. Wait... I can feel a draft coming from in there. The inside must be hollow. Out of the way! of a nasty person does something like that perhaps they sealed it up to keep fishy people like you from getting in whoa you're really gunning for old raven sometimes you can be so mean judith uh, what's wrong patty it's nothing i was just a little scared of the dark you're scared of the dark <laughs> you really are a kid <laughs> look who's talking if you're scared you can wait here i'm fine I'll go with you guys.
What is that? What are all these stones doing in a place like this? It's so creepy. Wait, these aren't graves, are they? Maybe we really did come to the wrong place. But even if that's the case, why are there so many here? Why? I can't believe how many there are. I never imagined we'd find a place like this while we were searching for the home of the Critia. <gasps> There's something written over there. Here lie the victims of the Black Hope Massacre. We mourn their deaths, and in this place, lay their souls to rest. These are all victims of the Black Hope Massacre! And these are the graves of people who were killed by Ifrit? Yes, but I had no idea there could be so many. Patty! But I... I never thought... Patty... No matter how you look at it, this is just too much. You can't expect a child to accept such a cold reality at her age. Hmm. I wonder who built these graves. Who knows? Maybe there were some survivors of the massacre. But... This is so horrible. I'm going to look for the key to Miorzo. You all should stay here. What? You're going by yourself? We can't bring Patty along when she's like this, can There aren't any signs of monsters here. We should go too. Repeat. Take good care of Patty, okay? <laughs>
That's the truth she was after. Yes, but she wasn't at all prepared for it. Right. Let's hurry back. Can you stand up, Patty? We're going. Are you... going already? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't push yourself, okay? Cypher... Can you come with us? Could she be... All we've got left to do is to ring the bell we just got in Agathor Forest. I agree. Yuri, I need to talk to you. What is it? I'd like to say goodbye to all of you now. It's time for us to part ways. You sure? Why so sudden? You don't like traveling with us anymore? No, that's not it. If you feel uncomfortable around us because of what you learned about Eifried, then... Just don't want to cause you guys any more trouble, even if you don't mind. Well, I do. Patty. What kind of nonsense is that? Rita? Every single one of these guys causes nothing but trouble. Do you really think you're any more of a troublemaker than the rest of us? Rita. If it's really just so you can focus on what you need to do, then I won't try to stop you. I... It'll be lonely around here without you. We've come this far together. There's no need to hold back. We crossed the desert and fought so many battles together. Besides, you don't need to give an answer here and now, do you? Plus, if you leave us now, we won't be able to pilot the ship and we'll be in real trouble. Why? Just think about it after your emotions have calmed down. You can pick what you want to do then. Until that time, though, why don't you come with us? Okay. All right. It's off to Agathor Forest. We just got to get rid of those suspicious guys and ring the bell, right? Yes. of what the geezer did forced to face reality. It'd discourage anyone. Mm. She looks so miserable. What can I possibly say to help her? It's best to leave her alone for now. Ah, repeat. <laughs> What's troubling you, repeat? <laughs> repeat. The thing is... Pooch is the best companion in times like these. I hope that you can find some measure of peace this way.
This looks easy. Don't get careless. I got no time to think. Just beat him senseless and you'll win. This looks easy. I guess I'll go easy. Yum, yum. This is Egathor Forest, a holy place for the Christian people. Huh. It's nicer here than I imagined. Not a bad spot at all. Whoa, really? I thought you liked being cooped up in cold, dark labs and stuff. I wish I could have seen it in its original state. That must be the Blastia the Mystery Group brought with them. But that's a Hope Loan Blastia. What do you mean by Mystery Group? We weren't able to get any details, but Tord said he'd tell us how to get to Murzo if we did something about them. Would doing something include smashing that thing? I wonder. I suppose we could if there are no complaints. I'll fix it so there's no need for you to break it. Oh? I'll leave it to you then. Are you going to rest on the ship? No, I'll go... <sighs> so, is Miorzo here? I wonder. I get the feeling it won't be easy to find. Nobody we talked to had even heard of a town called Miorzo. You'd expect to see more activity in this place if anybody knew there was a town here. The difficulty of the road might be responsible for that, though. Man! Why'd the Critians have to go and build a town in a place like this anyway? Probably to avoid a lot of prying eyes. We're just gonna have to check it out for ourselves to make sure then. Our 
That's what happens when I get serious. This area is currently under control of the Imperial Knights. The Royal Guard. This is the Commandant's private force of elite knights. What are the Commandant's forces doing in a forest like this with Hopal on Blastia? I have no reason to answer your questions. And civilian activity is restricted by law in this area. Hmm. Be that as it may, why are you pointing that weapon at us like that? Bring it on!
Man, that escalated quickly. Well, we're off to a good start. So the mysterious group of people was the Imperial Knights. Why did he attack us? Maybe because they're doing something here that they don't want anyone to know about? You mean, with that Blastia? Maybe, yeah. Hmm. You said you were gonna come with us, so you better pull yourself together. <sighs> I know. Watch out! Estelle! What did you just do? Same as what she did in Helliard. Estelle's power took the air and made it dissipate. You've gotta stop doing crazy things like that. I'm... I'm sorry. I just thought about how everyone was in danger, and before I knew it, my power... Her power is starting to unconsciously respond to her feelings. That last attack came from that Blastia. It was aiming straight at us. Which means that Estelle will end up using her power every time we're shot at. But then... what should I do? Hey, hey, you saved us, didn't you? Yeah. If that had hit us head on, we would have been goners for sure. We should be mad at the fact that they shot at us, not that Estelle protected us. We've sworn to settle Estelle's problems, along with the world's problems. Everything we're doing right now is towards that purpose. We shouldn't let the details get in our way. But won't Pharaoh get mad if she keeps doing stuff like this? Whether it's by a Blastia or by Pharaoh, I don't want to be barbecued alive. Come on, this is simple. We just have to do something about that Blastia, right? That's right. Let's pummel the jerks who are controlling that Blastia! All right, let's go. Try to keep a low profile. <sighs> if you keep standing around, we're gonna leave you behind. Close behind me, Estelle. My magic will protect you if they attack with the Hoplone Blastia. But you'd be putting yourself in danger, Rita. We're all in danger, so relax. Or maybe you don't believe I can do it. No, no! I'm just worried about you. Well, I'm worried about you. Those two sure have come a long way. Their little fights were fun, though. Oh well, I guess this way is healthier for everyone. Yeah, I think so too. Hey, Peanut Gallery! Shut up, or we'll leave you behind. She's still got a couple of rough spots to work on, though. Pure light. Uh, 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 u
soul fall before this pure light. Rest in peace. Still, I'll make this quick. The sign of victory. Okay. Yay! Good job. Good practice. Don't get cocky.
also make good practice. Don't get cocky. Together, one at a time, one at a time. Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Shining face! Not That's what happens when I get serious.
So is that okay? Beautiful. I will use this power for justice. Now then, at least we don't have to worry about being shot at anymore. We might have stopped the knights, but we still got to deal with this guy. Hmm. He's not a Hermes Blastia, but the formula's been encrypted. Care to explain in English? Basically, without a key to decode the formula, we can't turn it off. So I assume breaking the code isn't... No, it's not easy. Even if I could break it, that would take time. Hmm. Maybe if I... I don't think this will take much time at all. Wait! But you said... Help! What are you doing here? Perhaps he is this Blastia's engineer. No! I mean, I am an engineer and all, but I... I... I was just following orders! I, I swear I never wanted to get involved in something like this! Undo the code and stop this Blastia now! Yes, of course, right away! I'm sorry for surprising you back there. Huh, duh. I knew right away you were only trying to make me jump. Oh? At least that's one problem down. Now we can go to Murzo once the weather clears. No! What is it? Ah! Hey, Yuri! I could use your help here, kid. Should have known they'd have another one of these. Yuri, don't tell me you did that to keep me from using my power. Don't you think that was a bit reckless? Indeed. Do you have a death wish? This? This is nothing. Yuri, I'm sorry. It was my fault. Hey, you did the same for us before, right? Now we're even. But... Estelle, perhaps a simple thank you would do best. I... Thank you. Moving right along. We'd better do something about that other Blastia. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know- Hey! Ah! Fast, little bugger. We better catch him quick. Please wait. Patty is- Rita, I'm sorry. I let him get away. Don't worry about it. I'll come up with something. Yeah, but you said it wasn't easy. As long as the knights aren't around, we don't have to worry so much about how long it takes. Besides, who do you think you're dealing with? I'm the genius mage, Rita Mordio. If it's me versus a Blastia, I'll win or die trying. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Uh, what are you doing? If we leave it like this, someone could use it again. I'll just make a few adjustments. I'm sorry. <sighs> Nothing shines quite so bright as a young person with something they're willing to risk their life for. For somebody who stood on death's doorstep, saying you'll do something or die trying isn't just a figure of speech. Huh? Death's doorstep? Didn't you say you almost died during the Great War? Huh. Forgot I mentioned that. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. Words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Are you okay, old man? Here I am, running off at the mouth. I get a bit sentimental when I start digging up the past. Come on! Onward! Ready to go?
Hold still. I'll make this quick. Is everyone okay? I'll live. Me too. This time the old man looks a little worse for wear. Hey old man, wanna sit this one out? We can go on ahead. If you leave me behind, there ain't any place else for me to go. Come on, even Yuri wouldn't leave you here for good. And anyway, you could always go back to Altos, couldn't you? Hmm. There's always that, I suppose. They're... How do I say it? Not the same as you guys. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, if you're okay, old man, let's get over to that Blastia before it recharges and attacks us again. Aye, aye. Roger that. Yeah! 
But that's what happens when I get serious.
that's over. I will use this power for justice. Too many. One at a time. One at a time. Oh, Taking you down.
not done yet. and they were never heard from again.
You'll be gone soon enough. We're done. I'm just getting started. Still, I'll make this quick. I'm taking you down. Let's go.
gone soon enough. I'm just getting started. has been making some weird noises. It's charging up air. It won't be able to fire again for a while. If we hurry up and sneak past, the enemy will be utterly helpless. You don't seriously think that, do you? It's the Royal Guard! From the other side, too. We're surrounded? We need to stand firm and hold out. We should really enjoy these little times together. No time to think. Just beat him senseless and you'll win. I feel like an easy win. Let's just get it over. Zoning out. I'm sorry, Yuri. Patty, maybe you should have stayed back on the ship after all. I. 
I'm just gonna keep causing trouble for you guys like this, maybe I should've... Enough with the indecision and grumbling. We've come this far, haven't we? We're all friends here. Didn't we tell you not to worry? Friends? My, it's not every day we get to hear you say such sweet things, Rita. Sh shut up! Come on, we have to stop that Hoplon Blastia. Okay, okay. You all heard the lady. Friends. Patty, what are you doing? Do you want to get left behind? are my friends. Struck the work of the knights shall be treated as criminals. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, 
I got no time to think. Just beat him senseless and you'll win. How does it look, Rita? Just like I thought. This formula is protected by a code as well. Think you can break it? I said I'd do it or die trying, didn't I? This has nothing to do with getting us to Miorzo anymore. There's no way in hell I'll let those idiot knights go on using these poor Blastia like this. Okay, I'll leave this to you guys. And where are you off to, Carol? I'm gonna keep watch down below, just in case more royal guards show up. Well then, I'll come along and help out. I'm going too. It looks like Patty's cheered up. I hope so. And you know, the guy's enthusiasm actually kind of scares me. It's Yuri's influence. I guess the rest of us will stay here for now. Yuri himself is as laid back as can be, though. True. Looks like it'll be a while before she can crack that code. Royal Guard, huh? I wonder what those guys were planning to do with the Blastia anyway. The Knights have come back! We've got to hold our ground here. We do battle with all our might! Well then, here come the riffraff. It seems they're not going to let us rest. I shall defend this place. Woo! something? Looks that way. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Don't let your focus slip. No going through. through the knights are pulling back why because the blastia stopped i wonder what they were trying to do let's not look a gift horse in the mouth now we've kept our promise to tort judith you take it from here okay Whoa! 
is that thing? The door has opened. That is Miorzo, homeland of the Christian people. It's definitely impressive. It's as unexpected as a dandelion blooming on the bottom of the sea. Looks like they won't keep it open for us very long. We should hurry. Baul! A flying city. Who'd have guessed? Forget the city. What about that huge thing? It looks like a living creature. It's a floating jellyfish. It's an Intelikea, though not one I've spoken to. Antelakea? How did something like that swallow an entire city? That I don't know. I had absolutely no idea a city like this existed. That's because Miorzo cut off contact with the outside world ages ago. It's not going to attack us or anything if we get closer, right? Don't worry. As long as Baul is with us, we should be allowed to enter. Hey, look! They're all Christians. Are they welcoming us? Now this is a surprise. These visitors really are from the outside. Well, well. So it was you who called on Miorzo. And what is this? How strange. What curious ornaments you wear. Hey, it's not polite to stare, you know. How are such children as yourselves able to come here? She's talking about you, Patty. Mm -hmm. You too, Rita. Is this monster an Entelikea, perhaps? It's Baul. Have you forgotten him? Oh, you're the one who descended to the Earth some years ago, right? I believe Judith. Yes, Judith was your name. There was something you had to attend to, and... Are you about finished? We would like to meet with the Elder. Please feel free to do as you wish. He may be out for a walk again, though. Okay, so they're a bit weird. That's actually called rude. You're one to talk, Rita. All Christians are pretty much like that. Like what? Oh... Easy going, unafraid. We are dreamers and optimists, for better or worse. The Critians who live on the surface are like that too. Living together with humans, the Critians on the surface have lost some of their naivete. So is the Elder like that too? How should I put it? He's the perfect Elder for weird people. Sounds like quite a unique individual. I'm trying to be nice here. This should be interesting. The Critians are different than I imagined. Oh man, I totally agree. What's so different? You know, more like... I thought they'd be more like you, Judith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm seeing far less skin than I expected. I mean, come on! So that's what the two of you were looking forward to? How juvenile. What are you looking at me for? I was talking about our personality. Seriously, let's have some decency here. Is it me, or are you a little disappointed too, Yuri? I'd like to ask the same thing, Yuri. It's you. Ah, man. I never would 
would have imagined there'd be a city in a place like this. There's so many types of Blastia I've never seen before. Looks like the Critians really were the ones who created Blastia in the first place. Yes, seeing all this Blastia makes it very easy to believe that. It sure would be nice if we happened upon a way to do something about your power, Mrs. Stell. Really, that would be nice, but... It's not working. It doesn't have a core. It's just the body. This city has stopped using Blastia. What you see here is what everyone threw out long ago. Why would they do that? Because that was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So you were the cause of all this commotion outside. You've returned to us. These children are humans who are traveling with me. Hmm. This is Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm, I thought that Earth Dwellers had stopped using Blastia, like us. Do you not use the Blastia here because it uses a special formula too? There are no normal or special types of Blastia. Blastia is made by crushing Apatheia and processing those pieces with technology to produce cores and through the absorption of air. Hold it! Cores are made from crushed Apatheia? Indeed, that is what the stories say. It appears Apatheia was too powerful in its original form. Even without that power, it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. This is why its power was restrained, by breaking it into pieces and carving formulas into it. And thus, its numbers were also increased. Our legends tell us that cores were always produced in this way. A bit ironic, huh? Yeah, the apatheia that comes from Entelikea, who hate Blastia, is necessary to make the very Blastia that they hate. Maybe Pharaoh didn't tell us about apatheia because he felt uncomfortable talking about it, you think? Elder, there are many things I'd like to ask you about. We're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times. And if Blastia ever brought disasters to this world, we'd like to know how they might have been stopped. Yorzo must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Hmm. Very well. My home would be a better place to speak of such things. Please go inside and wait for me there. Hey there. Where are you going? I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. <sighs> Apatheia, Blastia, air disturbances, Entelakea. It looks like everything's connected. We might even see more connections once he's told us the Critian folklore. The Elder's house is a large building with a differently colored roof than all the others. Gotcha. Patty. We're leaving. Oh, yeah. I'm coming, too. You used to live in Yorzo, Judy? Yeah, when I was a kid. What sort of kid were you? A little shy and overindulged, maybe? A little shy? That's hard to picture. <laughs> it is beyond imagining, isn't it? Everyone told me I was a strange child. Yes, I can see that. A child being called strange by strange people. She must have been Judy-like since she was little. I'd like to ask you all exactly what that means to each of you.
Thank you. 